all are doing great. So the one of the most common use cases for AI assistance built on workflow is for customer support. And as we know that the most common medium for customer support is email. So what I did was I came up with a simple automation that you guys can implement easily where you can just forward all your incoming inquiry email or any email that your customer is sending to your workflow bot and get a response from it and then reply to that email all automatically so you won't have to do anything let's see how it looks first so i have attached my bot to this email we get solutions support and let's ask a simple question where are you guys located and let's send it up we just take care of this first and let's send it it's getting sent let's see the simple automation and we'll try to run this first it hasn't picked up the email yet let's try once again the reason it didn't pick up the email would be the email hasn't hit our inbox yet so now you see that it has gone through let's come back to our inbox and you can see that we have just received a response let's see it this was my email where are you guys located and the response is within the same thread let's see what it says hello thank you for reaching out to us we are located in west orange just around the corner from kelly elementary and this this and this or office accessible from this so it gives you the whole address and it also says that, says that if you need any assistance, please feel free to give our team a call and it tells you about everything. So now let's see how it looks. On the voice flow side of things, it is pretty simple. You have your own knowledge base over here. The whole knowledge base is built in voice flow and you can add your URLs, you can add your documents, you can add whatever you guys want. You can add whatever you guys want. The main thing over here would be this automation. Let's walk through this whole setup now. The first step over here is a simple email box. You can just add it via adding this and just selecting email and select watch emails. What it does is it sets up a simple connection on your email inbox and just looks out for each and every email that is incoming to that mailbox. Currently, I am using my own IMAP connection, but you can connect your Google Workspace accounts, your Microsoft Outlook accounts, your GoDaddy accounts, whatever accounts that be, you can connect it. I am simply using an IMAP connection, so it is the easiest one to demonstrate, and it is the most all, all rounding connection that would happen. So now what would be the criteria? What the folder to read the emails is from the inbox. The criteria would be the only unread email, so any upcoming new emails would only be get read read over here and all the remaining emails won't be read. You can also set criteria on the sender's email address. What this means is the this automation would only pick up emails coming from particular sender that you notify that you mentioned here. What I have done is I have mentioned a subject support. What this does is this automation would only look out for the emails that contains the word support in the subject. There are all sorts of criteria that we can set over here. Once it gets the email, what we do is let's see what the output looks like of this email. So we get everything like this. We would be more most interest, interested in the text content and the sender's email ID. That's this. This is the text content and this is the sender's email ID. What I have done next is I have created a JSON out of the text content because our voice flow knowledge base API uses a JSON structure and how to do this it is just this simple you just add this from here and you let me just do it for you guys so you guys know exactly what I'm looking for let's just name it VF for voice flow YouTube and knowledge base and if you look out in the knowledge base API knowledge base API you see we need a simple JSON object 
with the key of question and the value would be the query itself so you would imitate the same thing over here the name of this item would be question and let's just do it all in lowercase question and the type would be text and default would be empty it would be a multi-line yes it would be required yes and that's it you can just save it up and just it would just appear like this so i have already done it so let me just close this up and for what should be the value the value should be the content that we have got in our email and that is text content we can double check it from here text content says where are you guys located so that was the actual query once we have this object we got to make an http request to our knowledge base api and how do we do that we just select an http option from the make http module from make and in that we get a simple request we would have to set up our credentials setting up credentials is pretty basic over here you can just add it let me just add another credential you would just name let me just tell vfkb youtube and the key would be let's see what it says over here the key should be authorization so you would just copy this up from here authorization we would go back over here okay the key would be the actual key over here so we just copy our api key we come back we just paste it and in the parameter name we just tell it that it is authorization i've already done that so i won't do it over here again the url we just copy this url from our knowledge base api as well and this would be general runtime time voice flow and knowledge base query the method should be post we don't need to add any more headers the body type would be raw it would be a application json content type and the main thing is the request content that would be the json string that we have just made out from this module once that's done we just do okay let me just show you how it looks like this if i just click on run this module it asks me for my json string let me just do it like this question and my question is where let's just use the same question where are you guys updated send it and you would see you can see the response from here this is my request and this is my output in data you can see the output is this is this just gives out the exact address and it is giving it out from this knowledge base that we have created in our voice flow assistant let's go back but if we just tell this user tell if you just respond to our customers inquiries by just this output this doesn't look very conversational so what we do is first we do a check we add a filter and it checks is the data output is not equal to empty what it means is there could be questions where our knowledge base does not have an answer and we only want to run this automation when our knowledge base provides an answer in cases where it doesn't have an answer the our customer support agent can pick up this email and just respond to it accordingly. The next step over here would be to just formulate what information we have got from our knowledge base API into a proper structured sentence to send it out to the user. For that, I am using ChatGPT module and I am just using a chat completion with model 3.5 Turbo. And my prompt looks like this. The system prompt looks like this. You are an expert customer support agent for DigiDental. DigiDental is the dental clinic that the bot is working for. Your job is to respond to the customer inquiries in a short, precise, and friendly manner. The answer to the question is this. We have given out the question, the answer of the question, and this data output is referring to this HTTP request. So you can see over here, this was the exact answer that we got. We just provided into our ChatGPT prompt. And we ask it to rephrase the answer in a more friendly way. Make sure you greet the customer and ask for feedback on the answer. Also ask if the customer has any more questions. Once that's done, that would be the first item. The second item would be the role of the user. And we just give out the text content. And this is exactly what we had over there. The text content is the email that we got. We just pass it to the chat GPT. And that's it. And the last step is once we get all the response from the chat gpt we reply to the email back again 
how we do that is we just select the email module we select a send an email option from there we have already made our connection in the four systems so we don't need to do it again after that it would ask where do we want to save this email it would be in the send folder because we are sending out an email and which email address should we send this email to for this we would just select would go into the email and over here we can see sender sender name and sender email address we we'll just select sender's email address if you want to add more recipients we can add over here if you want to add someone to cc or to someone to bcc you can add it over here the subject let me just scroll a bit down likewise for the subject we get the same subject that the users initiate the conversation with the content type should be html and in the content what we would do is we would give out the answer that chat gpt gave us and we can get it from open ai choices message and content that that's where our answer remains so we just reference to that if you want to add some attachments we can add these attachments over here but i don't want any to make sure that we reply to the email in the same thread that we received an email you got to use in reply to and in references you can access these settings by turning on see advanced settings if i move it over here if you click on show advanced settings if these settings would show up and in reply to and references should be set up to the exact message id that was received that was for the incoming email so how we do it is this message id is stored in our message headers so let's just go back to message headers you see in message headers you can see message id and in message id you would see this one so you just select this headers basic message id and one and similarly you do this for references you need these two headers to make sure what email you are sending comes back in a thread to the user and that's pretty much it so that's a simple automation let's try it i have currently scheduled it for 15 minutes and you can just reduce this schedule to around 10 minutes or so or like even five minutes so what we do is after after every five minutes it would check your inbox for any new emails that contains the word support if they contains the word support the whole automation the content would go through the whole automation and then reply would be sent let's just try it out again let's create another email and let's ask another question let's ask a different question now so we go to the beer weekersolutions.com the subject would be support and let's ask how much because it is a dental clinic let's ask how much does a root canal treatment cost and let's just send it back over here let's just do a quick run of it it is the email has not yet hit the server so let's just wait a couple of seconds and then we try it again so now you see it got the email it converted into a json it got the request from the it got the knowledge from the our cape knowledge base api from voice loop checked if it contained a response and because it contained a response it used that information that it received from knowledge base api from voice loop into a chat gpt powered response and send out an email let's see if we have received an email let's go back to inbox and yep there it is and it says hello thank you for reaching out the cost of the root canal can vary depending on factors such as this 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 so you see it is pretty good and let me know if you guys have any question this template would be available for free in the link in the description of this video feel free to reach out to me for any inquiries feel free to comment and i would appreciate that if you would like comment and subscribe on this video thank you